bitches. Fucking bitches. That dress looks awful close to mine. Somebody must be jealous. I look great. <laughs> I'm not jealous, hoops, and you know it. Hey, what are you doing? So, I guess I'm back already. Seriously though aren't you guys tired of me I talk way too much about anything and everything ha. Huh? JK, this is serious I have been noticing something for quite a while now. Something that concerns the end city fandom. So listen up, let's talk about. <laughs> Um so, you know how I said I despise Twitter and I never want to go on that demonic bird app ever again. That was the initial plan but, somehow, some way, I got back on there for, merely 20 minutes I promise you. But, unfortunately, this is what I had to witness. Like, are we seeing this? Guys are you reading along? What the fuck, is going on? Why are we fighting each other? We're in the same fandom this is absurd. Yo, why, the, fuck, are we? Fighting, and what does Taeyong have to do with any of this shit? Now everybody's ganging up against me. For what? What the fuck did I do? I look you dead in the eye. I didn't do anything. I'm uncomfortable here now too. If these people don't think all of a sudden, oh, are you okay? I'm worried about your mental health and all this shit. Fuck all that. They never even wanted me here. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that the truth comes out. But I bet you one thing, they're gonna have to get me evicted because I'm not just gonna walk off. I'm not a quitter. To summarize, some end citizens hate on Taeyong because he's allegedly the reason why NCT didn't have immediate success when they debuted and he's stealing all their jobs. I mean jobs. He's supposedly taking opportunities away from the other members. He's always taking the center stage. He gets too many lines. He's not better than the others. He can't rap. He ruins NCT songs. And he doesn't deserve the attention he's getting. Um, well, let us unpack all of that for a moment here because, clearly there's more going on than just, sheer jealousy right? You know I don't keep up with N-City drama anymore, I gave up on that a long time ago so, let me do some research on why people hate on Taeyong so much. Starting off, we have someone asking people on Quora, of all places lol okay, why some people don't like Taeyong. This person says, it's because of solo stands of other members plus, the fact that he is considered the face of the group, the center, the visual, main rapper dancer leader and so on. I'm not going to comment yet, this so far sounds about right. Next we have, to be honest I forgot where this came from but, someone said this in response to another person asking why on earth Taeyong is so hated in the fandom. Again I don't want to comment too much just yet but, I just have to throw my two cents in on them claiming that SM was purposefully trying to blend Ten into the background next to Taeyong. The insinuation here again is of course, that Taeyong is stealing people's jobs, or in other words, stealing the spotlight away from other members. Bestie, I am so very sorry to tell you this but, if you're genuinely going to sit here and blame the color of the shirt someone is wearing on the performance not standing out enough, I don't think it's the shirt okay listen don't get mad, let's be friends here that's be point on this video, I know this person said it's not Taeyong's fault because, obviously it's not lol what the fuck but, the color of Ten's shirt is not the issue here I promise. Also when did Ten ever blend into the background I was watching both of them at all times. Ten and Taeyong work great together on stage. I don't know what OP is talking about. Now without getting ahead of myself. Let me just note that. It's almost like Taeyong is commonly. If not always used as a scapegoat. Much to think about ha. Huh? Moving on to book. I think Google answers or something girl I don't know let's just read it. So line distribution and overall promo is used here as two examples of why Taeyong is the number one target of his own fandom. Notice how Mark is mentioned here as well. A very common occurrence. Yet Mark is a very well loved member by all N. Citizens unlike Taeyong. Interesting interesting. Moving on to book. The website that shall be unnamed. It's not reddit guys I swear. Anyway so this person is. Speaking up about the unnecessary hate Taeyong gets. And obviously they bring up all the right points but they mention something that. I would love to further discuss with you guys. Let me read it out loud to really let it sink in. In the second paragraph. 
The sentence reads, Because Mark is younger and has a friendlier personality, people pick on Taeyong, especially because he's the leader and a visual. So people can say, he isn't actually that skilled, and people only like him because of his looks. Hum. So I'm not the only one noticing a pattern here. Sweet innocent baby boy Mark Lee next to evil cunning job stealing Taeyong Lee. Makes total sense right? No of fucking course it doesn't. But, let me show you another one. I mean, this one speaks for itself. Let me show you the last one to wrap this investigation up. I'd like to bring up a great point they made here. They basically said, people need a reason to hate and a face to direct their hatred towards and our very own Taeyong Lee just so happens to also have a beautiful gorgeous face so easy fix am I right? What better person to direct your anger at than someone like Taeyong who doesn't or rather can't even fight back? So it seems that the overall sentiment in the fandom is, Taeyong gets pushed to the center and takes the opportunities away from the others. It is assumed that Taeyong is SM's favorite. Along with Mark by the way. But like we discussed earlier, he's never the one receiving relentless hate from his own fandom. It's always, Mark is kind, Mark is sweet, Mark is, actually talented guys, yeah he's taking too many lines away from my faves but hey, he pulls it off, and also he's really really kind so it's okay, but, oh oh no, what, why is Taeyong in the center again, doesn't he have enough lines, he should take a break, he's not in good health anyway so, he should stop because, I want to see my faves in the center because they, again, actually deserve it. I'm tired of seeing Taeyong, he's not even actually talented like I don't know what the hype is about. Also he's ugly. I mean, let me ask the audience. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you shut the f*** up Ain't with your weak ass, ass. Ain't ass. Weak. Bitch. You hum, are we seeing the problem here? Let me tell you one thing first and foremost. Taeyong is not at fault okay, he is not, he is not taking jobs away babes, he is not snatching the lines away, he is not going up on stage with his members and then purposefully brainwashes the viewer into paying more attention to him, he is not manipulating the stylists to give him the best clothes, he is not secretly paying the lighting technician and cameraman at Inki Ga Yo to make sure the spotlight is always on him, guys, do you hear how insane this sounds? Genuinely that's how most of these comments are like. I will admit to you one thing. Taeyong is, absolutely and undoubtedly, SM's poster child. Like, yeah, obviously. Just like Taemin is, just like you know from TVXQ is, just like Irene, Baekhyun and Taeyeon. Are we really going to act like this is a new thing? He is the main character of the group. How so? Because he is talented. Yes he is. This is not up for debate. SM is not going to push someone they don't think deserve the attention. He is one of the reasons why NCT performances are so exciting and fun to watch. And yeah I know what you're thinking. You're a Taeyong stan obviously you'll say that and to that I say, yeah. Yeah I will say that. Why do you think I ult this man? Why do you think I ult Taemin? There's a reason for it. Listen, I don't want to sit here and convince you that Taeyong is deserving of all the opportunities he gets. You have every right to feel one way or the other about him. But what we're not going to do here is, blame it all on Taeyong, and then harass him. Call him undeserving, untalented, not wanted in the group by other members? Why would you even spread nonsense like this? Some of you guys still don't know your place and it's embarrassing at this point. Stop speaking for the members. You have never met them and you don't know them. The relationship they have with each other is their business. They have been working with each other for a long time now and for some of you to sit there and act like you know inside information is honestly, truly, cringe. I never say the word cringe but now, I feel the cringe. And now is the perfect time to bring up Mark one last time. Because, let's fucking talk about it. Let's really talk about it. Tell me how these two are different. How is one painted as the villain of NCT, the job stealing, conniving attention seeker, and the other is our sweet and talented, all deserving all rounder. It's bizarre honestly. And I know, I know some big brain will comment under this video and say, oh but, I get the hate, he was a bully in school, he was a scammer as a kid, he's clearly not a good person.
So, before we get into the conclusion of this video, let me address, my fellow Taeyong stands, my dear dear Taeyong enthusiasts, this is an intervention, let's stop doing this, everybody, hi, yes, let's stop this shall we, it's not helpful for anyone involved, Taeyong especially, if he saw y'all doing this he would revoke that Taeyong Peckard right this instant, of course, yes, I understand how frustrating it is to see all this, unnecessary hatred coming from the fandom, but this is not the way to go, like, at all, it's just not, I think ignoring people is the best option here, but of course, what the fuck even is Twitter if you're not going to have a pointless back and forth with a random account, I blame it all on Twitter fuck it this is deliberate, I know the CEO of Twitter is laughing all the way to the bank seeing the way people fight on this app, just wasting your precious time fighting, over essentially nothing, while this motherfucker is finding new ways to make the app more toxic. Okay so I went on a total side note here as always but, the point still stands besties, enough with the arguing and bringing other members down, it's just so tiring. I know NCT is gaining more and more popularity by the day but, I cannot let this fandom go to complete shit I can't accept it. I know I keep telling you guys to delete your Twitter but, the more realistic approach would be to just, be more mindful in the way you use it. Don't entertain the hate, don't engage in it, don't retweet it, don't quote tweet it, don't like it, don't repost it, don't subtweet about it, just, have fun. That is my conclusion for this video. Stop directing your hate for the way SM manages their groups towards Taeyong, stop engaging in Twitter fights, and keep supporting NCT. Remember that solo stand behavior will only hurt the success of the group. You want the numbers and awards? Then fucking work together. Bye bitches I'm out.